One week after a devastating fire destroyed roughly half of one central Texas town's library, recovery has begun. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. It's a Saturday 10 o'clock edition of 25 News. I'm Dennis Turner. Recovery has begun, but so too has the search for a suspect who may have set this fire. A suspect that doesn't just have the law after them. They have an entire town that wants to find them. The grounds of the Gibbs Memorial Library in Mejia look a bit littered these days, littered with the charred pages of books burned in a fire the last Saturday of September. A fire for now ruled arson. It was a tragic loss for the city. Uh, we're working closely with the library board. City and library leaders took quick action within a week to set the recovery wheels in motion, but did little to address the sheer shock of someone torching a public library in the first place. It's just devastating. We didn't know at the time that Somebody had set it on fire. In a briefing from the investigative team, which includes state and city fire marshals, the police chief, and the Texas Rangers, city manager Eric Garrity learned investigators recovered forensic evidence from the library, evidence which they believe will lead to an arrest. Investigators will also interview neighbors to learn if they saw anything suspicious at the time of the fire. Those neighbors are angry that someone took the safety from this safe place. What do you think about the kind of person that would do that? Though? I'm terrible, yeah. terrible person. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how anybody could do anything like that. Firefighters lost half the building, but saved the other half. Despite these charred file cabinets, none of the city's important historical or genealogy records got damaged. Political leaders, meanwhile, have put a temporary site and repairs at Gibbs on the fast track. Repair estimates to reopen the library run between half a million and $750,000. Most of it covered by insurance. Meantime, businessman Hughes Dillard offered the former Dixie Furniture Store for use as a library. That's really the spirit of our community. Uh, we, we have a, a loss and we've had, we've had our share of the years and each time people have stepped up. And, it, and what happens to books saved from fire? Well, generally libraries like to freeze the books to prevent mold that destroys the pages. Then they dry the books out. 